we have seen how by fixing three sides of a triangle the triangle itself gets fixed so it is sufficient to prove congruency of two triangles just by the sides so we can say if three sides of one are equal to three sides of the other triangle then i can say that these triangles are congruent it is sufficient to prove congruency and i can say that the triangles are congruent by side 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 or sss now let us see if there is any other combination possible of sides and angles which is sufficient to prove congruency let us start with this we have one angle which is fixed now for a triangle i would need another side so let's say i have this as my third side now would this give me a congruent triangle would fixing one angle give me congruent triangles we would have a sufficient condition for congruency if i can fix this triangle itself if i can get only one triangle now if i move this side you can see that this is another triangle this is another triangle this is the third triangle all these triangles have the same angle but the sides are changing so i am not getting congruent triangles so what i do is with this one angle fixed i fix another side also so to show that i fixed another side i put two dots at the end of the side this shows that this side is fixed now since this side is fixed i cannot increase the length of this side increase or decrease the length of this side since this angle is fixed i cannot rotate this line because as soon as i will rotate this line this angle will move again i cannot rotate this red line because rotating this red line will increase or decrease the angle which is fixed so all i can do is i can increase or decrease this line in size i can rotate this line because this would not change the length so let me rotate this line now this is giving me one triangle which has this side fixed and this angle fixed i get another triangle this is another triangle with this side and angle fixed i get a third triangle again by this side fixed angle fixed so i am getting different triangles which has this side and angle fixed so it is not proving congruence so let's fix another side so i fix one angle one side earlier now i fix another side so let's fix this red side also now this blue and red side is fixed so i cannot move them i neither can rotate them nor can move this change the length because the length is fixed and moving them would change the angle which is fixed so all i can do is i can change this side now as soon as i move this this is not a triangle because this is not including the sides which are fixed so the sides have to be fixed so this is one triangle even if i rotate this again the length of this side changes but i need this length so this this side fixing this side side and angle is actually fixing this triangle now i cannot move this triangle so would any two sides and one angle always give me congruent triangles let us take another combination here i have this side angle and side now let us take this side instead of this red side i take this side which is fixed now these two sides are fixed and this is the angle which is fixed now let me try and see so again this is one triangle if i rotate this line this is not a triangle because it is not including the length which is fixed this yellow length is fixed so it should include this yellow length but what about this triangle now i get another triangle which has this same length this same angle and this fixed length now again this triangle also has these three two sides fixed and one angle fixed and hence you can see that this will not prove congruency because i am getting more than one triangles here so what is it that in this case triangles are congruent in this case triangle is not congruent so when i saw this in this what i see is that my angle is included between these sides whereas here 
the angle is outside the side. So these are the two sides. The angle is not here. It's not the included angle. It's the angle which is outside these sides. So when the angle is included with the sides, I have side angle side. I see that it's congruent. This gives me congruent triangles. Whereas when I have side side angle, that is SSA, I do not get congruent triangles. In fact, rather than saying SSA, I can also call it as angle side side, that is ASS. Even this does not give me congruent triangles. So remember that whenever you have two sides and one angle and you want to see whether the triangles are congruent or not, what is sufficient to prove congruency is that the angle should be included within the sides. You should have SAS. Other combinations will not work. So, in these two triangles, ABC and DEF, what I see is that two sides are fixed and the angle which is included within the sides is also the same. So, it is sufficient to say that the triangles are congruent by side, angle, side. Now, let's say an architect wanted to make this, was told to make this window which has two triangles. So, he wanted to make a window like this with two congruent triangles. What he does is, he puts a vertical stick, then he puts one more stick which is perpendicular to this stick. Not just perpendicular, it is a perpendicular bisector. That is, it divides this line into two equal halves. It is perpendicular, whereas this and this is also the same. And next he decides to join these two. So would he get congruent triangles in this case? Can I say that the triangles would be congruent as he wanted to make them? So for that, let's first name this. Let's call this stick as AB, the perpendicular stick as CD. Now what you know is that D is the midpoint. Since CD was a perpendicular bisector, AD is equal to DB. We know that AD is equal to DB since D is the midpoint. Since CD is perpendicular to AB, angle CDA and CDB are also the same. Both are 90 degrees. The third is that CD is common to both. In this triangle also I have CD. In this triangle also I have CD. So CD is a side that is common to both these triangles. So I can say by side, angle, side. This is also 90 degrees. So by side, angle, side, I can say that these two triangles are congruent. Hence, I can say that he would have got congruent triangles. In fact, you can say that CA and CB are equal because of CPCT. That means that this wooden sticks which he has used to join these two lengths, these two points are actually equal in size also. Now can you tell me whether these two triangles are congruent or not? Well, if you say that these triangles are congruent by side, side angle, you are wrong because we've already seen that triangles are not congruent by S, S, A. If two sides and one angle is given, it's congruent only if the angle is included within the sides. If you say that the triangles are not congruent by S, S, A, Again, you are wrong in the sense of the question, but you are on the right track, don't worry. Let's see what is the correct answer to this. We know that these two triangles are right triangles and in a right angle triangle, we can apply Pythagoras theorem. So by Pythagoras theorem, I can say that AB square plus BC square would be AC square here. And in this triangle, I can say that DE square plus EF square would be DF square. Now, I can find AB from here. I can say that AB square would be equal to AC minus BC square. AC square minus BC square. Similarly, DE square would be DF square minus EF square. So this I get. Now I know that AC is equal to DF. So instead of AC, I can write DF. So AC square becomes DF square minus BC is equal to EF. So BC square becomes EF whole square. So this becomes DF square minus EF square. 
and df square minus ef square is equal to de square. So I can say that ab square is equal to de square. From this I can say that ab is equal to de. AB is equal to DE. So these triangles in fact are congruent by SSS. Since three sides of one triangle are equal to the three sides of the other triangle, I can say that they are congruent. In fact for right triangles we have a special name. In a right triangle if one side and the hypotenuse is the same, it's congruent to the hypotenuse and side of the other right triangle, then I say that these two triangles are congruent. So in right triangles all I need is one side to be same and one hypotenuse to be same. Since it's a right triangle there would be a right angle and there would be a side and hypotenuse which we want to be same. So I can say that this triangle PQR is congruent to triangle DEF by RHS which is right angle, hypotenuse and side. Right angle hypotenuse and side. So this is all which is needed. It is sufficient to prove congruency. So what we've seen is that apart from side side side, it is sufficient to prove that two triangles are congruent by side angle side. What should be noted here is that the angle should be included within the sides. And triangles can also be proved to be congruent by RHS. So this would be applicable only in right triangles when the hypotenuse is the same and there is one more side that is same.